Hi, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to do this wash bag for your little face scrubbies and other little things. So they don't get lost in the washing machine. Just throw them in and tie and then they aren't everywhere in the washing machine. If you want to see how I do these face scrubbies, I will leave a link in the description below or in the corner. So let's begin. You'll need some materials for this. I used a cotton yarn. It's 100% cotton and in a size 8.4, a crochet hook size 3 millimeters, some scissors and a yarn needle. Well to begin this bag we start by making a loop so we wrap around the yarn on our finger three times. Then we insert the needle under all three and grab this last one and pull through the two. Then we do a slip stitch in this yarn. So we grab this yarn and pull through the loop. So take it off your finger and we are ready to work in this loop. We will do double crochet all the all around. So we start two chains. So we yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Then we do a double crochet. So we yarn over. Insert the needle in the loop. Wrap the yarn and pull it through the loop. So we have three loops on the needle. Then we yarn over and pull the yarn through two loops and yarn over, pull through two. Then we have a double crochet sitting right here. The next double crochet. We yarn over, insert the needle in the loop, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, and yarn over, pull through, two. If you think it's going too slowly and you're more advanced, you can always speed up the process on the function on YouTube, but I will keep going. We yarn over, insert the needle in the loop, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two, and yarn over, Pull through two. I will pull them a bit together so you see they are sitting on a row. And this first row of, uh, of uh, chains, this counts as one double crochet. So we have four and we need to make 12 in total in this loop. So I will do one more. We yarn over. Insert the needle in the loop, grab the yarn and pull through the loop. We have three loops on the needle. We yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That's it. Pull them a bit together, so there's room enough for 12. Keep doing double crochet all the round. And I will show you how to do the next part. I now have 12 double crochet in the loop and I will hold the loop with my hand and pull them together. So they sit 
tight. Then I hold this bottom part and take the loose end and pull a bit and watch which one of these that moves when I pull. The inner one. So don't pull it tight, but instead grab the inner one and still hold this and pull until the other one disappears. Like this. And now you can pull the the loose end of the yarn. So the last one also disappears and you have your ring. Then we do a slip stitch in this top stitch in the chain we did. So insert your needle in the top one, grab the yarn, pull through both. So now we have our ring with 12 double crochet and we will be working the next round. So you go ahead and chain two, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Then we need to do the other row, the row number two. And we will be working two double crochet in each stitch. This first chain counts as one double crochet. So we will be making one double crochet in this where we just did the chain. So you yarn over. And you insert your needle in the same stitch where we did the chain and yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we have two double crochet in the same stitch and then we move on to the next stitch. stitch. Yarn over, insert your needle in the next stitch Grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then another double crochet in the same stitch where we just did the double crochet, yarn over, insert the needle and do a double crochet. Do two double crochet all the way around and you will end up having four, uh, 24 double crochet. And when we are here, I will meet you back up. We are all the way around and we have 24 double crochet. Then do a slip stitch in this top chain. I dropped it. That's it. And then for the, this next row, we chain two. Then we are working a double crochet in the same stitch where we did the chain two. And then in this next stitch, we do one double crochet. So every other stitch, you do two double crochet and the next one double crochet. So two double crochet, one double crochet, two double crochet, and so on. So for this next stitch, we do two double crochet in the same stitch. Like this and then in this next one we just do one double crochet so two double crochet one and so on all the way around and you will end up having 36 stitches in this row when you got this round you do a slip stitch 
in the top chain. Then we chain two. Do a double crochet in the same stitch where we did the chain. This one. Then for the next two stitches, we do a double crochet. And then this third stitch, we do, do two double crochet. So two double crochet in the same stitch in every third stitch. So double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet. You will end up having 48 stitches when you are done and then we will meet back here and that was the fourth round so we do a slip stitch in the last stitch or the first stitch we chain two and do a double crochet in the same stitch where we chain Then we do a double crochet in each of the next three stitches. One. Two. Three. And then two double crochet in this one. In the next one so for this round five we do three double crochet and then two double crochet in this one then double crochet double crochet double crochet and two double crochet and we should end up having 60 stitches in total for row five and then we're beginning to do the net so when you are at this point you do a slip stitch and we are ready for the next row. Now we begin making the net. So we chain two. And then we chain another two. So four in total. Then we skip a stitch and do a double crochet in this next one over here. And we got this little square. Then we chain two. Then we skip a stitch and do a double crochet in this one. And then we chain two. Then you don't skip a stitch, you just do a double crochet in the next stitch. So this cap is a little smaller. Then you chain two. And skip a stitch. Do a double crochet in the next one, this one. Chain two. Skip a stitch, do a, a double crochet in the next one. Then we chain two. Chain two. 
and we don't skip a stitch. We do a double crochet in the next stitch. Continue all the way around. Chain two, skip one, chain two, skip one, chain two, don't skip one. Continue like this and you will end up having 30, uh, 36 of these gaps all the way around. And when you are around, you do a slip stitch in this one and we will be making the next round. And now it's looking like this. So you have 36 of these gaps and we will continue four chains and then we do a double crochet in this double crochet So it sits, it sits just on top and we chain two and do a double crochet in this double crochet. Like this. And now you see a net forming. So Continue, chain two for each, each gap, then do a double crochet each time we meet a double crochet. So this is the next one. Like this. And we just continue all the way around chain two, do a double crochet, chain two, do a double crochet. And when you are back here, you, you uh, do a slip stitch in this top one. Then you continue with the next row, chain four, and then do a double crochet. And we will not be expanding anymore. So you just continue until you have 20 rows of these gaps. So you count from here and when you have 20 going upwards, you stop and then I will meet you there. When we got these 20 rows of little spaces, it should be looking like this, a little net. Then we slip stitch in this last one and we start the next row. You insert your needle in the next space and slip stitch one. So now we chain two. And then we work one double crochet directly in this space. So you yarn over, insert your needle in the space, grab the yarn, Pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Yarn over, pull through, two. Now we have two in this first space because this one also counts as a double crochet. And we will now do two double crochet in the next space. So you yarn over, insert your needle in the space, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and another, yarn over, insert your needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, <coughs> sorry, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Just do two double crochet in every space all the way around, and do a slip stitch in this top chain when you are right here and we will begin the next row. When we're done with that row, we chain two and then we do a round of half double crochet. 
So just one half double crochet in every stitch. So you yarn over, insert your needle in the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over, insert your needle in the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And one more, yarn over, insert your needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So just one round of half double crochet, one in every stitch, and back here you slip stitch one, and we will do in the next row. So we're done with the back, and we will now do the border on top. So we skip these two first stitches, and then we do a double crochet in this third one. So we yarn over and insert the needle in the third stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. That's one. Then we yarn over and do a double crochet in the same stitch where we did, just did this double crochet. Pull through two and pull through two. We will do eight double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over and do a double crochet. Yarn over and double crochet. And you are going to have this little shell or bow or whatever you want to call it. It has a nice finish to a project. With a border like this. And I forgot counting. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. So now we have eight double crochet in the same stitch then we skip two stitches and then we do a slip stitch in this third stitch so you insert your needle in the third stitch and do a slip stitch and you have your first little bow or shell then you do exactly the same you skip two stitches and then do eight double crochet in this third stitch and then skip two stitches and slip stitch in this one and you just without chaining just yarn over and insert your needle directly in the third chain and do your double crochet so make eight of those and finish the shell and finish your round so when you're all the way around back here, we just slip stitch in this first stitch to close up this last shell. And we have our little row or border of shells. Grab your scissors, snip your yarn, leave a little tail to, we to weave in your ends, pull this through and Weave in your ends with your needle. Now we need to make the tie, so grab a piece of yarn, do a slip stitch, and then you chain, you yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So we will just keep chaining until it's long enough to reach around the back. Just keep going. And I did I just did 90 chains. Then you turn the work. You can also just leave it like this, but I like to have another row. So you turn and single crochet all the way along. So you insert your needle, grab the yarn, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So just keep single crocheting all the way across 
and this will be our last row of this tie. So one single crochet in every stitch and it will get as thick as this. And in the end you just pull out your crochet hook and snip your yarn. So we have this long tail. Then grab your tapestry needle and thread it with your tail. Doesn't matter how long these yarn ends are. And we will now be weaving them in the back. So pick a side for your front side and insert your needle between these little gaps in the first row of the double crochets after the net and go up four stitches or so longer further you decide how close you want them to be then I will go down four and then up again all the way around and we are almost at the end remember to subscribe to my channel if you like what I do I make a new tutorial every week and press thumbs up if you like it if you have any suggestions you can always Leave a comment, a comment. And that's it. We are actually almost done. We now only need to tie a knot in the end. And I will actually make two just to make sure it won't go through the holes again. And just tie it real good and pull also the other one. Tie a couple of knots. That's it. And we will cut the yarn. And make sure they are even. So we now have our little wash bag to wash our scrubbies. And that's it. You can always make it bigger or smaller, but I think this size it's it's fitting for face scrubbies so they don't get lost in the washing machine. That's it. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. I'll see you again next week. Bye!